Last Friday, when Shonda and I arrived to set up at the conference center where last weekend's umbrella conference would be held, the room was empty. Soon, however, the picturesque grounds in the mountains of California near Big Bear would fill with moms, moms who had lost their children. It seemed as if even the noble pine trees were pointing heavenward. The moms would come in from all over adorned with bracelets spelling their child's name, necklaces that held a small bottle for their tears, name badges that identified them as their child's mom, and photo buttons worn with pride displaying their child's picture. When it came time to begin, the conference room would be packed with moms and memories. Each photograph you see adorned a bulletin board at the rear of the main room, and each photograph represents a child loved and lost by one of these moms. As we sat and gazed out the picture windows at the beautiful mountain settings, the conference inside held times of worship, messages, breakout sessions, small groups, and one-on-one -on -one ministry of varied descriptions. On Saturday evening, the first two days would culminate with a candlelight service. And this white candle is the light of hope. It reminds us of the love and the memories of you that are ours forever. May the glow of the flame be our source of hopefulness now and forever. Soon after this picture was taken, these moms would light a small candle and then each would walk to the front and speak their child's name. Then they took their candle and made a circle all around the room, nearly 120 moms. And then in the reverence of that moment, in the midst of such unspeakable grief, I led these moms in worship. I wish you could have heard them sing, loud, strong, how great is our God. Blessed be your name. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. What a powerful statement of faith, not to mention the tremendous impact this all has on us, personally. And how I wished you all could have been there to experience those unbelievable moments of worship. And then I realized in some God kind of way, you were. Holiday Island, your love and sacrifice through the years helped make this possible. Ashmore, your generous Christmas offering last December paid for our gas and our lodging. Paul and Marion, you stretched way out for us in North Carolina. We left with more than enough in offerings to cover our expenses. Those were funds we could now invest in these moms. See what rewards you reap? Grace Baptist Akron, you were our first supporting church. Your ladies' ministry, you thought you were only making pumpkin rolls. It was so much more. Prairie Valley, including our friends who insist on remaining unnamed, your sacrifice has not gone unnoticed, nor unrewarded. Hampshire First Baptist, remember when you partnered with Mission Video to install your new sound system? This is where that profit went. Add to all this our special Saturday friends south of Fort Worth, you who shared this dream from before the beginning and have had us back time after time. To all the friends of Night Song Ministry and churches who have shared in Matt's story in Texas, in Indiana, in Kansas, in California, in Oklahoma, in North Carolina, all around the country, who continue to pray and sacrifice to share in our dream now and on into the future. It was you who touched the heart of the mom who came up to me after the breakout Shonda and I led, after I shared that Matt was studying to be in the ministry and how that it all seemed so unfair at the beginning. She wept as she told me how just a few months ago her son, murdered, her daughter-in-law, raped and murdered, and her granddaughter, murdered, all while serving as missionaries. And Matt's choice to refuse to blame God touched her deeply. And you were all there. This could never have been possible without you. Please know two things. You are a part of something greater than yourself something greater than all of us, and you are appreciated.